Hey folks, welcome to Well. Today is gonna be a little bit different. I haven't done an episode in a while. It's kind of it's, it's been it's been a very interesting time that we've been going through and that we've been living through. And I just want to kind of have a just a kind of an open dialogue today. You know, we're gonna talk about culture today. You know, our culture that's all around us. I mean, it's it's you know it's, it's really really interesting. You can't you can't put your finger on just one thing. All you all you can really go off of is what you know what you personally, you know, believe, think, and, you know, are active in in your life, and then, you know, try to discern, you know, the rest of the things that are around you in this culture. You know, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's a very interesting and extreme time that we're in. You know, some things are extremely, you know, disappointing and, and discouraging, and some things are extremely hilarious and funny, and, you know, these are two extremes that we just kind of have to you know, we have to, you know, this is a, a time where, where we have to really exercise our discernment, you know, exercise our discernment, our ability to, you know, decide and, and to comprehend between the things that are going on in, in our actual lives and the things going on around us. Okay. So like I said, the conversation is about culture. There's a lot happening. It's almost too much to say if I was a news reporter, I would really be hard pressed for which news stories to follow, whether it's, a, you know, you're hearing all kinds of conversations, whether it's a train derailment, whether it's, you know, you know, um, you know, um, ageism, whether it's, <laughs> you know, whether it's political policy, whether it's local policy, whether it's, you know, you know, um, um, moral issues, whether it's, you know, um, health issues, where, you know, so many. So let's have a conversation and say, well, you know, what we need to make sure that we're doing is that we're actually focusing on being able to discern, you know, different information from different information. We know more than we ever knew in the history of man. You know, we we're at, we have access to more information than ever. We know more, but the more we know, the more, you know, concerned and actually the more inactive most people become, the more they know. So, you know, knowing a lot is not necessarily inherently, you know, a great thing for a lot of people. And so a lot of people actually take a take a stand and decide not to know anymore. Well, you don't have that option either. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, you, I mean, you can not know more, but then at the same time, that means you're immediately falling way behind and um, pretty fast at that point. You know, you're going to, you know, you're going to decelerate and you're going to fall behind really fast in a, in a world that's really moving at a faster clip every single day. The amount of velocity is, is, is ridiculous, whether it's technology, whether it's, you know, the movement of people, you know, whether it's, you know, you know, just, you know, people being displaced intentionally or, you know, by choice, you know, there's just, a, there's a lot of factors. So I just, you know, say, well, calmly, calmly understand that there's a lot going on in culture. You know, you don't have to pick a side. You know, the reality of it is, is you do have to pick your principles. You do have to pick your values and you do have to lay stake on what it is that you believe and why you believe it. It's not just enough to believe a thing, but you need to know why you believe it. You know, you need to have, you know, empirical data in, you know, internally on why you believe what you believe, because I guarantee you it's going to be tested. And here's the thing, you yourself should be testing what you believe and why you believe it as well. Here's the thing. We've been, you have to test it because we've, we've all, depending upon how old you are, you know, you've lived through, you know, you know, multiple generations and you've been taught, you've been shown, you've been groomed in a lot of different ways. You know, I look at, you know, I have the privilege of, you know, having, still having my father to talk to and he'll be 86 years old in about a week and a half. That's a lot of perspective, you know, to talk to somebody in real life that's been on this planet since 1937, that not only has been here this long, but that is mentally coherent, you know, his, his mental capacity is better than anybody I know, anybody young, old or whatever, his mental capacity is, is top notch, you know, second to none, you know, anything that he's forgotten, he still retains and remembers more. He remembers, he remembers numbers. You know, he was in the military in 1954 to 1957. Let me put that in context. In 1954, 
1957. That's some 60 plus years ago, right? He was in the, you know, he was in the military. He still remembers his his military um um ID number by heart. He still remembers he still remembers numbers, you know, by heart, you know, from even from back then, you know, not just the social security number. So it's very interesting. So his mental clarity is is really top notch because he continues to sharpen it every day, though. You know, he continues to write and to read and to, you know, to digest information. He's more aware than most people, you know. And so I say this because that perspective, you know, breeds a, per, you know, a, a perspective that that that's rare and that I, you know, really take, you know, I take I really it's a really a privilege for me to be able to have that. Now, that being said, you know, it gives me. You know, I have to run things through a different filter on how I feel about why I feel, because here's the other part about my father. You know, he raised me to, you know, not, you know, if I only know part of a subject, not to claim expert at that subject. If I only know a little bit about it, I know nothing about it. And so when I speak about it, I can't speak matter of factly about things that I don't know anything about. And if I don't know, you know, the percentage of the information about it, I don't know the percentage of the information enough to speak matter of factly about it as an expert. Now you have a lot of people today that speak matter of factly as an expert about a lot of things that they really have not much idea about. And that's an issue, but you have to be self-aware enough to be able to understand and identify, okay, you know, I don't know enough about this, 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 and that to be so matter of fact about it, but it's something that interests me. So I'm going to go learn more about it. That's the part. Today in culture, you know, we have to take our time and really, you know, we can't learn everything. Let's just be honest. You know, that's, you know, there's so much information. I mean, there's, <laughs> you know, you know, trillions of, 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 you know, quadrillions of data points that, you know, we just can't, you know, it's just, it's, it's more, it's more, it's more than even if you could, it's more information than you need to know because you can't, you know, you can't, you know, actually apply most of it, you know, and, and, you know, and information and knowledge that you're unable to apply becomes a hindrance to you after a while, because you'll spend time learning something that you will never use in life and you just wasted your time. But that, you know, that in and of itself, you have to be aware enough, you know, of, you know, your life, culture, your you know plans and goals going forward, you know, your commitments and so forth to be able to discern that. Okay. So back to culture, you know, this is the culture that we're in. You know, this, I, I would like to be able to even, you know, put a, a, a topic, you know, title on, on this conversation today, but to be honest with you, it's, it's very, you know, random and it's very all over the place because it's much like our culture is right now. It's much like the world is right now. It's all over the place. It's, it's, you know, <laughs> it's every corner of the globe, you know. It's, it's every nook and cranny, it's every state in the union. I mean, it's it's just constant. It's, it's nonstop. But here's the thing. You have to be aware of that. Okay. You have to be aware of that and say, well, you know, this is this is why it's important for me to really, you know, study me, study, study myself, you know, really become a master of me, become a master of, 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 you know, my internal me, you know, my spiritual me, my physical me, my emotional me, my mental me you know, and really, you know, become, you know, more, you know, clarified in, in your thoughts and, and, and your abilities. And see, now, as we do that, as we do that, and we really work on mastering ourselves, then we move different, then we operate different, then we understand our, 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 you know, our abilities and our limitations, and we move and we act accordingly within ourselves and amongst our culture. And that's, that's the thing. You know, a lot of people, that's one reason why so many things are disabled right now, because most people are trying to find who they are, trying to find their place. And depending upon how old you are, trying to have to find your place again. See, here's the thing. When we were younger, you know, when we were in our 20s, you know, we were told, just do this. And, you know, when we were in our teens, we were told, just do this and you'll be okay. You'll be set. And so that's the way we went. And then we found out, no, not at all. You know, that you know, all of that's gone, you know, once about time, sure, great. Now, you know, you know, the average adult will have, you know, five careers in a lifetime, you know, I mean, you'll have, you know, multiple, you know, <laughs> you know, um, 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 life changes that, that, 
once didn't occur. You know, we were told, you know, you do this and you're set for, you know, you're set for life. You know, one, two, three, boom, and you're set and just let it coast on out. You retire and then rock on. Not, no, that don't even, that's not even a thing anymore. You know, depending upon what generation you're in. I mean, I'm a, I'm a Gen Xer. So as a Gen Xer, you know, I'm, you know, firmly in a very ruckus generation that's going from, you know, you know, a culture of extreme prosperity reverting back to a culture of, you know, almost poverty. <laughs> and so when we when we look at, you know, from a generational standpoint, you know, there are a lot of, you know, very aggressive um, um, things occurring right now. So, you know, I have to look at things like, you know, I never thought that at this stage of life, I'd have to totally reinvent myself, you know, my, my career, you know, the, 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 the jobs that I once performed, you know, no longer even exist, not even for, not just, not just for me, but a lot of them, you know, are no longer, you know, I mean, to be honest with you with technology and so forth, almost every job that I once had is going to be phased out probably by 2030. You know, they won't even exist and they, they currently don't exist at the level that they existed at before. You know, so we have to be aware of these things and we have to say, OK, you know, instead of, you know, sitting back, you know, complaining and griping. No, no, I have to retool, reskill, you know, learn new things, you know, go and create new things, go and, you know, create new endeavors and go into, you know, you know, you know, vocations that I never thought that I once, you know, do go into, you know, go into instruction, go into teaching, become, you know, become the mentor now. Oh, great. You know, didn't have a class for that in high school. You know what I'm saying? Become the mentor, you know, wasn't even a conversation. You know, I mean, being, you know, it's it's, it's something that we should all, you know, if we live long enough, <laughs> hopefully we become, you know, mentors, not only to, you know, to our children and grandchildren, but to, you know, to the younger generations, you know, that are coming behind us, you see, because they do need guidance. They do, you know, they do need, in, you know, insight, intuition, you know what I'm saying? They do need wisdom. That, that they still have to, you know, employ in the real world, even as, you know, we're, you know, reconstructing our lives. So, you know, back to culture, you know, and say, well, you know, we have to be aware of these factors. We have to be aware of what's going on, what's coming down the pike. You know, what, what you know, what, you know, what's, what's the next turn? What's the next evolution? And that's the whole thing. I mean, and once you, once you start to really, you know, get, you know, more aware of what's going on, you know, you start to become more, you know, creative and you start to become more, you know, excited even about being a part of being part of that creation for, for our culture and being a part of forming it the way, you know, that it needs to be formed. Not only the way, because if you do nothing, it's going to form into a way. That doesn't mean it's the right way. You know, in order for it to form into the right way, you know, you have to make sure that you're that you're sharpening your tool in order to be able to, you know, show up. And, and battle on the field of culture, you know, in a, in a constructive and in and, 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 and way that's building up and not tearing down. Because, it's, you know, it's very easy to turn, tear down. It's extremely hard to build up and maintain the build up. You know, when you build it, you have to maintain it as well. You can't just build it and leave it. You know, you have to build it and you have to maintain it. You have to maintain it at a certain level. You have to maintain it at a certain height. You have to maintain it on a consistent basis. It's going to get cracks in it. You know, it's going to, it's, you know, the temperature is going to change. It's going to go, you know, it's going to be cold and it's going to be hot. You know, it's going to make it, you know, expanding and, and, and contract. And, you know, that's going to cause cracks and breaking. You have to, you know, be able to seal it, you know, mortar. You know, you're going to be able to continually, you know, keep repair on it. Otherwise, it's going to fall apart. And then you have to be prepared to update it, to upgrade it at some point, you know, with newer materials and so forth. And this is life. You know, this is life, you know, so embrace that part, you know, embrace that part and let's ride this thing out together and say, you know, at, from, from, a, from a cultural standpoint, you know, where, where am I at? If you're struggling right now, if you're struggling right now to figure out where you're at, the first thing you need to do is, is really go heavy on mastering yourself. I'm going to be honest with you. Go heavy on mastering yourself, whatever, you know, sit down and, you know, meditate and get into yourself, start journaling and start figuring out what it is, who it is that you are, who did God create you to be? You know, he created all of us to be a certain thing, you know, for his purpose and everything. You know, pray, ask God for, you know, for, for guidance, you know, just really sit down and seek yourself, you know, seek God's face and find out who you are, who he made you to be. And you'll be surprised, you know, you'll get up from that point 
and you'll move different. Start working on mastering yourself today. So I'll talk to you guys later. You know, welcome to Well. Let's have a conversation. You know, chime in, leave some comments. You know what I'm saying? Like and subscribe, please. Like and subscribe to my channel. I'll definitely help me get this channel to grow and everything. We got great and mighty things coming. You know, Food by the Word Media is going to be doing a lot of, you know, producing and, and putting things together. And, you know, it's just really, a, you know, an awesome time. So God bless you. Talk to you later. Remember, like and subscribe. God bless you. Talk to you later.